Welcome back, you guys, to Dollar Tree Shop with me. I want to share with you first some really cute little signs I found that is a wooden love sign that you can DIY or craft. These felt flowers were also in the Valentine's Day section, and this heart lace is so pretty. This is a really cute chalkboard heart sign. I just love the Valentine's Day decor. This year, I've made so many videos on it already. These little ornaments are too cute. They're like made of that tin material and I found even more signs. I cannot believe how many they had this year. I think I showed this to you guys in one of my last videos but this kissing booth sign that spins around is just absolutely precious. It also comes in a red color. I just love that you can move that little sign. It's very very cute and then it, they also have this like purpley kind of fuchsia color. These signs were so funny. This says my cat is my valentine. I showed this to Nick. We were laughing. This is a really cute little polka dot sign. I don't have enough walls for all these signs. Another cute polka dot sign and just kind of like a little overview. I had never seen these before, these little mason jar signs. And then there is another one with the red truck. My kids have paws. Lots of like animal signs. It says home is where my cat is. This was kind of like St. Patty's Day colors. I wish it was a little more neutral. So cute. I loved all the animal signs because my kids do have paws. This is really cute. It's like a little gingham envelope. I loved that. Any envelope thing I like. These little XO tags with the with the black glitter were so cute. Okay, here's the new fairy garden stuff for this year. Now, I don't know if you guys would spend $1.25 on these because they're just so tiny, but they are really cute. This is like a little lollipop. I feel like small things like this should be a dollar. Like there should be certain exceptions to things. Personally, in my opinion, like I feel like small, tiny things should not be included in the dollar twenty-five. like the fairy garden stuff. I love the little llama. Here's a couple more. And I loved the little truck. And the ice cream truck. So cute. Here is the Easter display. This isn't everything. Each store is going to have different items. That's just always how it is. I find different decor at different stores. So here are some cute little um, burlap bunnies. And then these treat sacks with the bunnies on them are really cute. If you have like maybe a classroom. I loved this sign, this Cottontail Farms sign for Easter. That's the only one I found so far. Usually they have some more. Here is a little clip on bunny tail. And then we have some little Easter banners that you can, kids can like color in. And these little cross containers were so cute. I wish they had more like cross items. Then we have these adorable lambs. I love lambs because it's like the lamb of God. Jesus is the lamb. So I just, I absolutely love like Easter lambs. And just sharing with you guys a couple more cute little stuffies. Then they put out their gardening section, which to me just kind of puts a smile on my face because it means... Spring is coming. I cannot stand the cold, so it makes me hopeful. And then we have the seed starting greenhouse, which I thought was so cool. I know a lot of us would like to grow our own food, and I definitely want to learn this year, like how to grow my own food and plant and stuff. I wish I had like a garden. So this is a good start for that, and you can get a Dollar Tree. Here are some of the signs. We have like some lawn picks. If I had a front yard, I would grab one of those. They also have the potting mix. And then I thought these were awesome. Speaking of like growing your own food, these herb rockets are great. This is sweet basil. We have parsley. So you can literally just put this in potting soil, water it every day, and it will grow. It is so easy. They also had thyme. And I, I definitely want to try one of those. Let me know if you guys have tried these yet. I got mixed reviews when I asked on my Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. It's at Dollar Tree Dolly, D-O-L-L-I-E. And I post tons of Dollar Tree content there as well. Okay, then we found some St. Patrick's Day stuff. They had a whole wall devoted. So we have some cute furry socks. Do you guys like these furry socks? Let me know in the comments down below. Sometimes they make me really hot. 
They also have some signs. We have some crafts, some like plain wood banners, and then some cute long signs that say, kiss me, I'm Irish. And you guys, St. Patrick's, look him up because he actually has such an amazing story. He was a missionary for Christ and he converted many people to Christianity. So it's really actually amazing. I don't know how St. Patrick's Day became about like people getting drunk because it's really about St. Patrick who was um, leading people to the Lord, which is so awesome. And I just absolutely love it. And I found that out from my mom. And I just, I think that's so cool. I wish that was like more about the holiday. More of the holiday was about that because it really can be considered a Christian holiday. So just sharing with you guys everything I found, these hats. We also have more socks. They had this one with the little dog and then the rainbow. This was cracking me up. They did not space that word out correctly. So it looked so bizarre. I don't know what they were thinking with that. They have been messing up signs recently. So yeah, those are new. And I love these little like small signs that they had. They had quite a few to choose from. Also, be careful, you guys, because one of these was broken and there was glass everywhere. So just don't cut yourselves on these glass pictures. And this one I thought was so pretty. So you can make a whole little collage of these pictures. I loved this color of vinyl. It was like a baby sky blue. I just adore that color. And I think it's so pretty. I always find new vinyl now. It's exciting. You guys, look at this chenille yarn. I loved this purple color. I was like, I need to learn how to crochet and make something. I also loved this blue color. I can just picture the prettiest scarf. Okay, then I found mini Uno. How cute is this? Maybe for like a road trip. I love Uno. We also have, you guys, check this out. It's a new find. It is faux leather. So I posted this and everyone thought it was vinyl. It's not vinyl. It's just for any craft. You can cut it. It's not for a cutting machine. It was like a soft pebble leather. So cool. I was so excited about this find and I only found one. So this is what the display looked like. I hope you guys can find it. So awesome. Someone told me they made earrings out of it and I was like, that is so cool. Okay, on to the book section. They had so many books, lots of fiction books. I really like finding the autobiographies, but I just actually did pick up a book from one of my last shopping trips. I ha still haven't cracked it open yet because I'm going to share it in a haul with you guys. So stay tuned for that. Or maybe did I already share it? No, I don't think I did. Anyways, <laughs> Gizzy is like licking my face right now, my kitty. So yeah, here are just all the books I found. Just wanted to share with you guys and you know, maybe you'll see something that sparks your interest. I didn't know any of these books, but maybe you would be interested in one of them. They also had these new Simply Kind Hearted Cat Treats, which looked like they were made in Germany. So they had ones with mint. They also had skin and coat ones. I have also found in another shop with me treats that were like for hairballs or like a hairball liquid, which was cool as well. So I always like finding good name brand stuff for my kitties at Dollar Tree. This is a new self-adhesive wall tile. I thought the pattern was really pretty, very like, I don't know, Grecian and ornate. It was, it was cool. I liked the metallic silver. I also found some new name brand phone grips. Um, I did actually purchase one of these and it fun fell off. So this was a cool find. I found these belts which were from a store they told me on instagram what it was called like the orange bag store i don't know but the belts are actually pretty cute it said they were 5.99 and they had um these like little braided ones they had a gold one these were like that stretchy kind of material i can't really describe it but um they also had this one with grommets which has been actually like trendy recently and then this one just had some like little cutouts and some studs so i don't know what do you guys think i thought that was pretty funny they always have some like random name brand stuff at this store that's interesting to see 
Oh, and some more phone cases. Okay, so I found this, which is so cute. It's this ombre mesh tote bag. And this is actually a leftover from a FabFitFun box. So they must have had extra and then gave them to Dollar Tree. It's from shopcamp.com. And it was like this ombre tote bag. This is actually really good for produce, you guys. It's a really nice bag. They also have these new deep conditioners from a name brand hask these are actually really great i have used this specific one before you guys know i'm a beauty blogger i get a lot of products in the mail so i try tons of stuff this is such a nice deep conditioner and they're all based off like wines so this one's based off of pinot noir and it's just a deep conditioning mask you can get multiple uses out of it as well so cool so i really like this brand this is their greek yogurt deep conditioner i have not tried this one yet but i definitely recommend this brand to you guys it is good and safe for your hair okay on to the beauty section i love the beauty section you guys know this is a flower beauty lip liner in the shade beige i think i hold this one i can't remember i think i did i have to look through my bag of stuff this was such a cool find the simple hydrating booster moisturizer this has amazing reviews on google if you look up the product it's fragrance free very gentle product so i think this is an amazing find for a dollar 25. i think i also showed these to you guys as well these are the nyx love out loud um, liquid lipsticks and there's like three purple shades so if you like these brighter colors then you will like these and the Maybelline Superstay foundation is popping up again, and that is the shade Warm Coconut. I did use this in a Get Ready With Me with Dollar Tree products, and I really like this. This is a great name brand, Kiss My Face. This is the Kids Sugar-Free Berry Blast Natural Toothpaste. Highly recommend that brand. So good. On to the bread section. My Dollar Tree is a bread outlet, so I just like sharing with you guys any of the awesome bread that I find. So just sharing with you a couple different varieties. We have honey wheat. We have oatmeal. That one's actually a light. It's only 45 calories per slice. We have deli swirl, home style oat. That would be good for French toast. I loved these new Buffalo check placemats. These are so cute. Very, you know, on with the whole farmhouse thing, which is you know, always a favorite trend. So really cute if you have a dining room table. This is also a name brand find. They are Crock-Pot Slow Cooker Aligners. You get six in here. And these are actually from the Crock-Pot brand. So let me know if you guys found these. It says they're from 2017 on the back, which these things don't expire, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> and yeah, there's... Um, just the instructions on how to use them. I also found tons of the pretty laser cut lacy baskets. I love these. They are so pretty. There's a few styles to choose from. I also love this microwavable glass bowl, you guys. That thing is so awesome. So I actually have this pink one and I hauled that a bit ago. And this one's cool. It's like a, I guess you could call it like a book holder. You can put books in there, magazines. And then these are like the locker style of baskets. I just did air quotes, even though you guys couldn't see it. So here are some more colors that I found. I loved this gray. This is, these are so pretty. Thank you guys so much for shopping with me today. I hope you had fun. Let me know what was your favorite find. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.